Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create an AWS account. In other words, we can say how to sign up in AWS. As we know that AWS is offering like 12 months of free to use AWS services. Before that, we have to let's have our account created there, right? So let's get started. So in Google, you can search for AWS free tier account sign up steps where you will get the first link where it says like aws.amazon.com where you can click on here then you will, it will take you to the aws page where you see aws free tier so in which what you can do here is you can click on create a free account where you can able to start signing up your details and create a new aws account but before that just quick recap what aws offers right so basically they are offering like 12 months free where you can use the services it doesn't mean that like all the services you can use free there are some limitations over there so we can see what are those so if you guys see here the top products which are especially for compute database storage containers mobile apps serverless machine learning so in this if you see uh in the fire in the, in the tire type you can choose uh all uh, 12 months free and then it will filter out all these uh, services which are free right so first one is compute in this like free tire uh basically you can use ec2 machine for 750 hours for 12 months free and similarly for storage you can use s3 buckets for 5 gb per month right of the standard storage but this is not per month but this is per month right and then in rds it's again per month you can use 750 hours of uh, up and running and similarly you have other uh, you know api gateway if you use api gateway let's say you can use 1 million api calls per month right received per month so this is a high level of outline about what you can get out of a free tier uh, free tier account so now let's get started with creating a free account click on free create a free account then it takes you to the page where you have to sign up so here you have to give the root user email address so here you can give your address let's say in my case i am going to say and then account name you can choose any name you want let's say i'm giving something called aws training one and then verify the email address so that you have to go and check your email address i got my email address um zero okay i'm going to verify that okay it is verified already now we have to give the root user password so we know what is root account and what is iam account we will see when we start our class but for now just give some user id password so here you have to give some password and confirm the password and then this is the first step right out of five steps this is the first step so first you are giving the password uh, root user password and then uh, giving your full name right whether it is for your personal or is it for business so since we want to create it for our own uh, training so we can go for personal which is for our own projects and give full name we can say let's just check aws training one right or i can say aws training one let's just check okay i can give the mobile number and confirm your identity basically they send some text message to my uh i can give some text uh you know uh, i can request for a text message to my mobile number which i given now again i'm giving my mobile number so now i am getting sms um yeah here you go i got the sms i'm entering the code now i'm click on step number four is completed now we are in step number five so this is where we have to be make sure like what type of plan we are choosing it so i commonly advise everyone to start with free tier because don't directly go to developer or business support because that's not even required as a, a students to start learning aws so i always go by free account which is a basic support free recommended for new users just getting started with aws where you'll have like 24 by 7 self service access to aws services like where you can use the aws services 24 by 7 okay and uh, also you can see here complete, complete sign up that's all so when you say complete sign up which means like you're all set now you will get uh registration is done all right now you can go to aws management console or you can click on sign to the console either way you can do if you click on here yeah here you go now you see here you are you can able to log in you know the password and user id right what you have used if you see here you are able to successfully log into the system right so this is the aws console guys so uh you guys are happily uh able to create aws account so then we can start exploring all the services um in the upcoming videos thank you guys bye bye